Hello everyone, welcome in. It is day two of Star Wars Celebration and I'm very, very happy to be here with Monty Moore. Um, they say that the, the pen is mightier than the sword, but what if you have someone that can draw pens and swords? Yeah, it's a dual edge. Welcome, Monty. <laughs> How you doing? How you feeling? Oh, great, I'm glad to be back here. Uh, I've been coming to Celebration since the very first yeah. one yeah. and uh, Celebration Japan and uh, London, but it's been a couple of years, so I'm really thrilled to be back here with the uh, Thomas Kincaid series of uh, art prints. Yeah, and you haven't missed many. Uh, you haven't missed many celebrations. So how's this one feeling? It, it, I mean, it's been three years. It, are you the, excited the, to be back? Yeah, the fervor for the fans too is like you can just tell everybody yeah. is super excited to be here, and a lot has happened yes. since then. So even Quite a bit. this whole art series and and everything with Mandalorian, like people couldn't really celebrate it right. together. And so right. when you see the lobbies and everybody there and they're trading patches yeah. and they're getting together for the first time, it's like coming out of uh, hibernation. Yeah, or you see a clone trooper and a Sith ordering a Sprite. It's, oh, yeah. you're like, well, I love being here. It's yeah. so great. Well, you could see RoboCop giving a speeding ticket to a biker scout. <laughs> As we should, just <laughs> like my dreams. Um, so Monty, we are, of course, Sideshow. We are big fans. We are friends. Uh, could you tell maybe our fans a little bit about if they don't know who you are, First of all, shame on you. <laughs> Second of all, maybe let them know who you are, maybe your art style, and what is your style, and then what is the Kincaid style, and then how did you merge those two? Yeah, uh, so I've been a comics, uh, gaming, fantasy, sci-fi illustrator right. for nearly 30 years, right. and I've worked on projects uh, like Dungeons and & Dragons and, and lots of other fantasy and sci-fi stuff, right. but Star Wars has been my lifelong love, right? right? I saw Star Wars as a six-year-old on my dad's lap, so I'm a traditional illustrator. Uh, right. A lot of my paintings that you'll see here are mixed media. So they're a combination of oh, okay. markers, acrylics, colored pencil, airbrush, kind of kitchen sink approach, whatever right. gives me the best look. And when you say traditional, you're saying the alternative would be, you know, maybe doing it digitally first. Correct, okay. yeah. And we felt it was important, uh, at least for me personally, carrying on the, the Kincaid tradition right. of hand-painted, hand-crafted, fine art approach. Right. okay. And really what uh, the Thomas Kincaid look that we call Kincaidian <laughs> is known for is capturing light, very beautiful scenic scenes. So mm. we're not necessarily always going after the most action kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We have beautiful lightsaber right. scenes as well, but we also have really important moments right. in The Mandalorian. Uh, right. Key things where you might see uh, uh, something in that episode right. that was yeah. really pivotal, a real yeah. turning point, if you will. So there are so many instances here of light beautifully used. Now, when you approach a piece like your Cold Pursuit that we saw during one of our boot tours, it's an mm -hmm. incredible piece, it's incredible. Do you know what you want to do or are you given a scene? How does it get from Monty's brain to what we're seeing here? Uh, they, I get a lot of freedom. Uh, okay. Most of the time uh, w with commercial art, you might have, hey, this is exactly what we need. And they don't give me any of that. There's, right, a, right, right. there's a real collaborative effort with the whole team between mm. myself, Thomas Kincaid Studios and Lucasfilm. Right. And they allow me to actually pitch what I want to, what oh. I think uh, coming from a fan point of view, not yeah. just an artist. So because I'm such a huge fan, mm -hmm. uh, I look and I watch the episode and then I'll do five or six sketches sometimes. Right. And then I uh, bring those sketches to the team. We all okay. discuss it. Then uh, we decide what we think is gonna resonate most with the fans. Right. Uh, and so, Really, it, it's been very successful and we're very well received right. with what we're trying to bring to the fans because there's a, just so much beautiful artwork here mm -hmm. in the world of Star Wars and collectibles. Uh, and so we're we're trying to maintain the tradition of Thomas Kincaid and also Star Wars. Right. And you know, I, you're coming. For, it's coming from an artist who has a life-size Han Solo and Carbonite <laughs> in my studio, and I custom painted one of my motorcycles with a Star Wars name. Oh, like wow. I'm a fan. Well, it's the, not the, just a job. The <laughs> coolest sentence. I just casually have a motorcycle and I casually just hand painted it. Well, yeah, it looks like a, a huge spaceship. Oh, the whole hull, the whole bike. And then on one side has the symbol for the Empire and the other side has the symbol for the Rebel Alliance. You ever gotten up to 12 parsecs? Uh, yeah, I can make the Kelsar yeah, in that time it. or less. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Monty, obviously, I mean, Star Wars is a passion. You just by us being, you know, engrossed in just all of your work here. I mean, it's, I, you know, it's like asking you to pick a favorite child, but right. do you have, do you, do you have your, do you find yourself coming back to certain moments or eras of Star Wars that really just bring you more inspiration? Mm, 
Yeah, I would say right now, if people to ask me, not only the classic trilogy, right. uh, but with the Mandalorian and really getting to experience that so much. Uh, actually, the piece to my left here, which right. is called Two for the Road, this is the piece that resonates the most with me. It, it encapsulates this almost father and son, right. Ronin, you know, lone wolf and cub yes. going on an adventure. And then even next to it, we've actually debuted uh, the three new classic Star Wars pieces. Oh, wow. And so right here, you have kind of both the new and the classic, what yeah. launched it. And so getting to do this new series of heroes that we all recognize and right. grew up with um, is just really exciting for me. My inner nerd is just like, oh my gosh, I get to, I'm doing classic <laughs> Obi-Wan and Luke and, and Vader. And that's going to be an ongoing series as well. So I love how this kind of dovetails. Right. The, the where it all started to where we are now in the modern world of Star Wars. And, you know, and I love, and, you know, looking around here, and again, like, as you mentioned, there are plenty of, mm -hmm. of high intensity moments. We've got, you know, we've got Rey and the Emperor here. Yeah, but there's I, saber I, battles. And I love how well you capture the quieter moments of Star Wars that I think are, you know, I like to say it's like once the cameras are, once the fictional cameras are off, right. there's still, these characters still live. Right, um, uh, this would be a perfect example. Right. Here, this is one of our best sellers. Uh, also a piece, great piece for even kids' rooms and people right. of all ages. Uh, but there was lots of action in that scene. There was, you know, chicken walkers and explosions and things like that. But this was a scene that we felt was really just kind of a moment just to say, this is a Grogu <laughs> moment, this is a child. So this is called Child's Play. And and, and that's a that's obviously a big seller. Anything with Grogu and yeah. Mando in it together have been, you know, very well received. This is one of our fan favorite pieces. Oh, of course, I mean, yeah. iconic moment. Yeah, so this is called Turning Point. Uh, and you really get that moment from when Mando goes from being purely a monetarily driven bounty hunter right. to seeing that he is a man with a code, right. a, a samurai, if mm -hmm. you will, where his code will not allow him to kill an innocent. Right. And he he turns on the guild mm -hmm. and you get this moment that is, you know, almost right out of the Sistine Chapel, you yeah. know, with the two fingers coming exactly. together. And, yep. and it's almost like the, the moment that his life begins Absolutely. here. Yeah, so this piece, uh, aptly, I get to come up with all the titles too. So this oh, called, oh, that's great. This is called Turning Point. Yeah. So this is a turning point in his mm -hmm. life. My favorite part of this is art for fans by fans. Exactly. And, yeah. uh, you know, Sideshow, we are a collectible company. So, you know, I've got to ask what, uh, outside of this incredible art, I mean, what do you collect when it comes to Star Wars? What do you find yourself gravitating towards? Uh, I mostly have figures. I, I have several of the uh, sideshow ones that I know that, it, honestly, if I need reference to do a painting, oh, that's nice. Uh, they're so accurate. And so right. even behind my table, even though I haven't needed them recently, I have a Phasma and I have uh, Kylo Ren and some oh, of that. Um, and uh, I have several on order that are more from the Mando because right. I, I have to have the old armor and I have to have the new armor. Um, but, you know, as far as collectible wise, that's most of what I have. I have a couple of the fun things with Grogu in it. Like right. in the studio, I have a candy machine that, you know, has him holding like a bowl of candy and Boba <laughs> Fett, stuff like that. Uh, I don't really buy the action figures anymore. There's there's right. too much to collect right. uh, for me, but I like, I love patches and I like pins. So oh, I know they're great. Uh, I so love it. A lot of these were given to me over the years by fans from all over the world. Oh, wow. Because I've done events in Italy and Scotland mm -hmm. and Germany. Uh, and so usually they'll be like, oh, you're 501st, you're a Star Wars guy, and they'll, you know, give you their patch. Yeah, and, yeah. and it looks great. And, and Monty, you know, we know you've got a busy, busy weekend. So thank you so much for hanging you're out. You're welcome. Yeah, we appreciate time. it. Uh, I'm going to paint a bike. <laughs> it will look not as similar. And then we'll take it out on the open road. Well, you know, Han Solo would say, you know, she might not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. <laughs> she's got it where it counts. <laughs> exactly. Not just a piece of junk, people. Right. Monty, thank you so much. You're Have welcome. a great rest of your con. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. Come stop by the booth. Come say hi to Monty. There's so much art here for so many different types of Star Wars fans. Again, thank you guys so much. And don't forget to let your geek side show. This is the way.